Hi everybody and welcome to another video tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can make a fully infinite multiplayer game. And, best of all, it's extremely simple to do. As you may be able to imagine, making a multiplayer game is a little bit complicated, but making a fully infinite multiplayer game is extremely complicated. I'm just showing you some of the scripts that I used in my own game. So it's extremely complicated, and for this reason, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can remix my project or make a copy of my project and make your multiplayer game through that. All this code is simply for making the game multiplayer. So for this reason, you don't have to modify any of this code if you were to remix my project. The only thing that you have to worry about is this, local player. As you can see, in local player, there's only two parts that you need to have. You'll need to have this script over here, and you'll also need to have this part over here. So what I mean by that is this script over here, and you're also going to want to have this wait until block um, with the hide and the show. Other than that, you're free to do whatever you want. So for example, in the code here, I just say wait until the mouse is down, glide, and then I have a distance to the mouse X and the mouse Y. All this will do is make the player glide to where I click. So if I go here, you'll see the player glides there. The program will do everything else for you. The program will make the whole game multiplayer, and this is all you have to worry about. This project is called an infinite multiplayer base. When I called it a base, I meant that it's meant to be built upon. So if you wanted to remix this project or if you wanted to download this project and upload it to scratch, please feel free to do so. Just make sure you give me credit. The details are shown in the notes and credits part of this project. So you can scroll through that and I'll provide a link to this project in the description of the video. In addition to letting other people use this project as a base, I'm going to be using this project as a base as well. I plan to build upon this project and turn it into a game where you get to walk around and go to different levels and scenes. I'll be doing this project with Mira4114 and she will help me design and animate many of the aspects of the program. Now I'll give everybody a quick demo of how the program works. From the player's point of view, it is extremely simple. All you have to do is join the program. So I'm going to start my first program up. You'll notice it says Players Online Loading, and it will load for about 10 seconds at the start. Next, I'll turn on this program. And then finally, I will turn on this program. By the way, remember that you need to be ranked Scratcher in order to use cloud data. You can't be New Scratcher. Otherwise, it won't work. So you'll notice everybody has their own player ID. This program's player ID is 1. This program's player ID is 3. And this program's player ID is 2. The player ID is a way of identification that the program uses. By the way, you can ignore these variables, these three variables that are on the bottom left of the screen. These are just here for debugging. Also, you'll notice that these two player IDs swapped, and that's because I had to restart the recording. Anyway, as you can see, each person has a unique player ID. In this case, 1, 2, and 3. I use what's called a watchdog timer in order to determine how many players are online. This basically consists of a bunch of players toggling a variable, or units, digits of a variable, uh, and it switches them between 1 and 0. Sometimes it will take a little bit to register the proper amount of players online, and as you can see, these two programs only think that there are two players online, where this player knows that there are three, but after a couple of seconds it should correctly update. So, let's try moving our player over here. You'll see that when I move the player here, on all of the different programs, the player correctly moves. Cloud data tends to be a little bit more buggy if you're using the same computer to work with, so I've closed one of the programs out. As you can see, the program is pretty quick. As soon as I move the player on one screen, sometimes with a little bit of a delay, but it will move relatively quickly on the other screen. So, 
Now I'll show you how you can remix this project to make your own multiplayer game. I'm currently logged on to a different account. If I want to remix the project, all I have to do is go into the C inside and click Remix. Now that it's my own project, I can make any changes that I want. For example, I can change the local player. I can make it a person. And I can change the cloud player, make the cloud player something else. Keep in mind that the cloud player is going to be the same for every single player other than the local player. Now I can do anything like change the backdrop and really play around with this. If you wanted to make this program your own or a private program, all you have to do is add in a script that looks something like this. When the green flag is clicked, if, then I'll put an and, and I'll put in two nots. So, if the username is not equal to zsegal, and I'll duplicate this, and the username is not equal to mira4114, then stop all. So, all the script will do is stop the program if your username is not zsegal and your username is not Miro4114. So if your username is zsegal or Miro4114, in this case it is, it will not stop the program. And you'll be able to play the program with your friend. So now you have a fully private program that you can play around with. Obviously at this stage the program doesn't have too much to offer but I will be making more bases and better versions of the bases. With these new versions, you'll be able to do more things, like have different stages, have different characters, and do other things. In fact, I encourage the more advanced programmers to try and build onto my bases and make these more advanced. For the time being, I'll be working on my own game using this base, but if other people want to try and do that as well, I encourage you to feel free to try and do that. It is a rather difficult program to follow and to do, but it is more than possible to do such a thing. Here's one final thing. If you don't want your program to appear as a remix, keep in mind, even if you don't use your program to appear as a remix, you still have to give credit to me. You can get punished if you don't give credit to the people who made the program. Anyway, if you don't want it to appear as a remix, you simply click See Inside, then you say File, Download to your computer, and then you can just save it to your desktop. Now, just go to your desktop. Then you can open up the program. I'll wait until the Scratch Offline Editor opens. When you're using this technique, you're actually making use of the Scratch Offline Editor. OK, now that it's open, you have the program, so you should be able to do File, Share to Website, and then you put in your Scratch username. And now my project has been shared. And now if I go back, and I go here, you'll see it says Infinite Multiplayer Base V6. And it's not a remix. Make sure that you give credit. And then now you can share your project. And you have a fully functioning infinite multiplayer base. I just want to reiterate this once more, that if you don't give credit to the people who made your project, there are severe punishments. So please make sure you give credit to me if you are using this method to get your infinite multiplayer base. I will be making a video in the near future talking about how this program works. I'll try to the best of my ability to explain all of the scripts in the program and how they make it function. Also, if you want to know when I have a new version of this infinite multiplayer base out, please subscribe to my channel and I'll make a video as soon as I have a new version of the program. The new versions of the programs will be more advanced and offer many more features. You'll be able to make your games a lot more fun with these new versions, so just subscribe to my channel or follow me on Scratch, and you'll know when I have a new infinite multiplayer base. 
Also, you can keep an eye out for when I make my own game, because I hope it's going to be really cool and fun to play. You'll be able to play this with your friends, and also play it by yourself. For now, if you want to test this infinite multiplayer base V6, it is shared on Scratch, and you can simply go to the link and play it with a friend. Remember, if you're trying to use the infinite multiplayer base on one computer, you have to use two different Scratch accounts, and both of these account accounts have to be ranked Scratcher, not New Scratcher. So, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please like the video, and if you want to be notified when all of my new videos about this comes out, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.